Hello, good afternoon. Today we're in a different location again. I'm back up in Motagua or near Motagua. And as you can see from around, we've got beautiful views. It's very quiet. Oh, whenever I say that, a car comes. It's the car behind <laughs> The only now, car. It is very quiet. The absolutely only car that's come along, isn't it? And as you come around, this is the house that we're looking at. You can see it's got a stone cottage and then a main house. Can you just get a little glimpse of the views through there? Because on the other side of the property, we have a roof terrace. Oh, there's plenty of time for those views. And that takes in those views. Yeah. So we've got a cottage, a main house, a roof terrace, room for parking. But Paul's going to show you everything from the air. And then we will go into the underneath rooms first and work our way through the house. Hello everyone, there may be a recurring theme throughout this video and it mainly comes down to the views. They really are splendid from just pretty much everywhere around the property but in particular they are wonderful from the pool area which you can clearly see and they are even more fantastic when you get up onto the roof terrace. Now just the house itself with the pool is great value for money and you get the annex thrown in for free. I would like to introduce our buyer's agent service. Looking for a property? anywhere in Portugal we've got you covered but don't just take my word for it challenge us now here's how it works email me at paul.stubbs at exprealtyportugal.com with your detailed property requirements be realistic about your dream property and we'll take care of the rest it won't cost you a penny just a bit of your time why settle for ordinary when extraordinary awaits for a full explanation of this free service, click on the top right corner of the video. Don't miss out on the home you've always imagined. Contact me now and let's make it happen. Make sure you don't miss out on our latest properties. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. For a constant update, why not look us up on Facebook where there are daily updates. Facebook.com forward slash PP property. You can see that this house is not on its own. It does have neighbours, but where is it? It is an hour to the seaside by car, but there is a plethora of fabulous river beaches, picnic spots, and yet 90 minutes gets you to the ski resort of the Serra de Estrella. Porto Airport is 1 hour and 50 minutes, or one of my favourite places in Portugal, Aveiro, is just an hour away. I love that little city, so let's get back to the tour. Yeah, I mean, it, there's, I think, two definitive ways to come into the property, isn't there? You can come up this road, which is a little bit uh, narrow in places, or, of course, you can skirt around and come in through these. You can come through the top, which has plenty of parking. It's yeah, tons. And all sorts there. I think that is w where the parking space has to be made, isn't it? Yeah, parking here. Yeah. I mean, you can see the quality of the stonework. Um, and we come around. I mean, you could expose the front end of this property in exactly the same way as that wall I just showed you. Oh, yeah. It's... Ah, there's main sewerage here. Slightly curious is why one little patch has been cleared. Yeah, there's, but there's main sewerage in the street is what I was yep. just saying. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. And obviously electricity and street lights and telephone are all yeah, everything's actually here. connected. Yeah. Already. I mean, this property, the um, the owners have actually had quite a significant project. Well, they've had a full architectural project done on this property, and um, the plans will be on the advert. However, you don't have to do that because this is a property with a bathroom, with bedrooms, with a fireplace, and this could just be renovated as it stands. So. You, you're going to look into these underneath? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Would there be the an edge? issue, um, now that there is a full project on it, with habitation licence without realising the project? Well, no, because technically speaking, you don't need a habitation licence. Well, yeah, I know, but... Well, that's something to look into, but it was obviously... This would have had an exemption of habitation licence, I think. I don't know. I haven't looked at the file, darling. You just sort of thrown me with that one. <laughs> I do like to throw a curveball now and again. So that big wall that Paul's looking at is actually got is the swimming pool. Yeah. So there's a swim. 
It is. It has got a swimming pool, a wonderful roof terrace with fabulous views. Um, and as we'll see in a little while, um, it's got some really good spaces upstairs. Actually, there's no point in me going in there. You no. go in there. I'll poke my head in and around. I mean, it is a little hole, but it's got fabulous. Very, very high. Yeah, fabulous height. I mean, it's really, really high. I mean, so, you could actually make a little dorm here and put bunk beds on the wall, couldn't you? You could. If you wanted to. Yeah, 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 you could. I was just about to say, I don't think I want to be under the swimming pool, but you're not. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel that weight bearing <laughs> down on you. You wouldn't be under but the swimming pool, you're actually under the bedroom there. But... Right, the height you've got here, you see all of it. I mean, actually, if you just, you look through there, you can see you could just get rid of this block wall. Yeah. And you could have... Well, I don't know why you wouldn't just interlink it. You'd have a really large house, or you keep it as storage. That is a, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean it obviously, depends what you want, but it's built into the. It's yeah, that's bedrock, rock, isn't, it? isn't it? Do you know what? Yeah. That's not wet. No. Not like that property we bought. Silly people you should know better, but you do it anyway. Um. So yeah, this is a really big space and, and you could, could either knock through both walls if you wanted to, and actually this could be a tough one. It'd just be huge. Easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. or just a massive kitchen lounge diner. Yeah, belonging to the house. I mean, you put yeah. these doors to glass and get some clever lighting. So into the last of the downstairs, you know, there's the other side of that wall there, look, um, that we were just talking about. The possibility oh, yeah. of knocking down. Um, now get the bedrock because it's really, I mean, you just turn it into, well, everyone's different. I kind of have it in the house. It'd be really nice to be, if you had the money, to put a glass wall in front of it all. Yeah. And then you keep your feature, but you don't you keep any dampness that comes through the rock out. Yeah. yeah. Um, under the cottage is the same. So is that where we're going to go now, I think? I think I, I think so. Yeah. So those rooms at the moment can be storage or they can be utilised. And here, ta-da, which way do you want to go? We're going to go here first. Now, we couldn't get into here. So today I discovered <laughs> that I had to go underneath and actually get a leg up and come through the ceiling. And then we could unlock the door. So, this is a space that needs gutting. Yeah, but it also needs that chimney removing. That's where all that water's coming in. Yeah. But uh, But this would be a lovely little cottage. You just It's you, a sweet it's a sweet little space, isn't it? Rip it all out so it goes straight up to the beams. Forget yeah. about looking in rooms. <laughs> yeah, I, look, they, they'll want to see. Okay, go through just poke down, poke your head down under the floor then. This is where I came up. Yeah. And where I've got to go back down when we finish the video. Thanks very much, Jonas. Um, <laughs> and, um, but I think you drip it all out, you yeah. put a mezzanine in, and you do a little cottage. Yeah. Okay? That's what I think, anyway. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, all sorts it's of things. It's got options. stunning bedrock. I mean, you can look it underneath. It could just be shared and uh, workshops and things. You know? Well, yeah, it could be. But... Depends. I mean... Right, so into the main house, as it stands. Are you going to look underneath or? Or well, you're not going to bother? Oh, right, go on then. Yeah, go through the garden. I mean, it is a little bit of a clamber round. But we shall manage. Oh. We'll get into a bit of a pickle there as he falls into the garden. <laughs> I'm not going with him. I mean, it is very Thank low. It is really just storage unless you... without serious intervention. But... Always need storage. Yeah. I think you just take this, take the floor out and make a feature of it. But, as ever, we have different ideas. Interesting. Right. Ring my bell. <laughs> Come on, then. It's been a while. <laughs> right. It might be a little bit dark in here, so I don't... Mm. Having said that, I haven't tested the electric. <laughs> but I suspect it's not on. Oh, they are on. Are they? Oh, right, look at that. Yeah. What a brilliant estate agent I am. Yes. We... I just turn the lights on. <laughs> yeah. um, so... you'll, you'll notice in the photographs I took the other week that the lights were all on. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the hatch upstairs, which we'll do 
in a moment. At the end. Okay. Yeah, do it at yeah. the end. So this room, slightly strange division. Um, not sure what you'd use that for, whether you just knock this little bit out, or actually it's perfect for a desk. Yeah. yeah and you use it as a little office space, because you yeah. still get the heat coming in from the fire there. And I think the kitchen used to be there, you see. Well, it's definitely plumbed for a kitchen. Remember Plumbing and everything. In yeah. expectation. Of, no, there was one, wasn't there? Because you can see the silicon marks where the countertops were. Yeah, exactly. Were. So I don't know whether they yeah. ripped that out. It would have been old, whatever. But yes, look at the tiling. So this, yeah. was the kitchen, this was the kitchen lounge diner, wasn't yeah. it? And then you can see that there was a, wall, a room here yeah. and they've taken it out. Also, this is a stone wall, so this it's is... It's all stone. I mean, you know, all the walls are stone. It could all be exposed. This is an original exterior... This is an original exterior wall here. Yeah. And this bit's been added on at a later date. Yeah. So this is the roof. This has got the roof terrace on top, hasn't it? Yeah. It needs a little bit of attention. It's waterproofing. <laughs> I can tell if I can <laughs> see out there or not. It's a fly mesh. It's, it's, yeah. It has actually got a fly screen on it. Yeah. yeah. You're not seeing double. Um... So yeah, this is the roof terrace. It obviously needs a little bit of work. Probably needs re-covering. Usually, always flat roofs here. They, you know, they need treatment. We've got a good bathroom there. Perfectly yep. usable. I mean, the house really is perfectly. Oh, you could live in here. Yeah. Perfectly usable, yeah, yeah, very yeah. quickly. One hundred percent habitable, declared. With. Lots of options, isn't yeah. it? You know, I mean, right now you can come and live in here, but there's an awful lot to go if you, you know, if you want that. So right. that's obviously for a bath, yeah. as a no, sink, wasn't that, it? That's for a washing machine, darling. A I washing think machine. Stop staring at that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Going yeah. to the bedroom. I was darling. puzzled. <laughs> puzzled. Yeah. For, for a moment. I tell you what's more puzzling. What's that? Well, you're in a different room now, but why there's a picture frame on the wall in this small area? Who knows? It's was embedded. Well, maybe it used to be a window. Ah. I don't know. Okay, let's just ignore me for a minute and go Come, come, come yeah, along, Sherlock. The best thing option. Yeah. Right. So here we have a nice covered area. Yeah, this would be a lovely place to sit out. It is. Yeah, and it does yeah. actually get rather warm in the summer. So this is a very, very private courtyard garden. Um, we've got a selection of cactus, and I don't know what's under this lump of rock, really. Yeah, no, and I'm not looking at you, so no one else will know. Oh, either. right, sorry. Where are you <laughs> looking? Oh, no, we're back I'm, in the I'm lump of in, rock. <laughs> I'm right. back in the room. So what we're going to do at the end, we're going to go out that way, because that's the other yeah. way out. OK. And so so for go now, let's way. Yeah. go to the views in the pool. Oh, gosh. There's something that I don't fall. Don't fall over the vines. There's vines sort of growing on the floor. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pick my feet up. Let's try not to fall into the slightly yeah. yucky pool at the moment. Yeah, but I mean... that just needs cleaning. It's left. Yeah. Hmm. It's... <laughs> left with it. A, 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 a darker shade of green, shall we call it. Yeah. But it, lovely, <laughs> lovely elements. to have, you know, when it's all clean and, you know, lovely to be in. Quite fancy it now. But yeah. here... Bobbing with a view. Are just fantastic views. Now, the it's sun really peaceful, is not it? my oh, friend oh. right at this moment, but I mean, those are your views. I'm not entirely sure. And a little I'm... stream so there's the machine. divides the, um, the woodland back there. Oh, look, it's a stream. Yeah. From, <laughs> from, from you. So. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, the roof terrace is up there, Strange and we're going to go on the roof, on the roof. Uh, so, and we're going to go and explore it, which is a bit of a trial at the moment. Yeah, there's a few, couple of sets of stairs that need to go into this house, in my opinion. But uh, and this is definitely <laughs> one of only one them. set of stairs, love. Pardon? Only one set of stairs. No, but it, it, yeah, but. Yeah, I'm well, yeah, you've been up and down there twice. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that what you mean? <laughs> that, that does, doesn't that count? <laughs> it's not quite the same thing. No. But here we are. Here's the set of steps. Are you actually going to film going up the stairs? 
I think I might, you know. Oh, go on then, just for entertainment, right? Yeah. I mean, it's better uh, than me going to So go on then. Yeah, you've got leggings on, otherwise I've made you go first. I have no idea why you're trying to do this. Uh, just to prove how poor a camera <laughs> I really am. You're not allowed to cut this out afterwards. <laughs> Uh, my gimbal's not really behaving. Right, ta-da! It's obviously this is the attic space. I can kind of stand up in the middle, but... I can stand up in the middle. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's fine. When you're really short. When you're a little uh, shrimp, it's okay. Uh, but here is a very, very nice roof terrace where I can imagine spending... Many an hour. Depending on how hot it is. Whiling the time away. I'm dizzy. Yeah, lovely. I think you'd have to bring everything with you that you wanted, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Well, yeah, but that's why I said, you know, a couple of sets of stairs ah. would be good. You can spy on the people in the pool. Yeah, I was Which just thinking about that. Good. The neighbours will love it because you can look in all their windows. But um, we're waffling, aren't we? We are waffling. Yeah, okay. Shall we, uh, so, shall we... Beautiful view. Yeah. Did we, did we actually finish up here? Or... I, think, I think we should have finished here. I mean, the only thing we're going to see by... Is a gate. Is a gate, isn't Which it? Which is behind that telegraph pole well, and the chimney. Just yeah. Just round yeah. there, there's a yeah, gate. Yeah, there's a little gate over there. And we're going to, I think we're going to miss it out. So, I'm going to spin around here so that the sun is at my back. Right, okay. And Sarah's going to say goodbye. Okay. Bye-bye. I hope you like this property. This is excellent value, by the way, as you will see. And um, I expect to be doing some viewings on it soon. And I hope to sell it quite quickly. So, come and get it. It's really quite a lot of build for the money. All right. Do like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.